We've been focusing on before, posture before, okay, before you strike. And now we're going to talk about during posture, striking. Now this part is probably uh, we don't really teach to beginners so a lot of people have hard time to uh, strike men like this now, it's easy it looks easy right it should be easy it's only this but uh, because I've been doing this for more than 40 years so it's it's easy for me but probably it's probably you know, it's a bit hard for you guys so I'm gonna focus on that but how you can get this movement smoothly and you know much more easily so you can enjoy Kindle now Kindle part for me uh, I'm, I'm hoping for all of you uh, the striking part of course is fun but before you strike, you have to beat your opponent. So that's the number one thing. You have to beat your opponent before you strike. And a striking part is a proof, right? Proof that for yourself that, okay, I did the right thing. All right. And then, oh, you get it. Okay. All right. I did, uh, I did the correct preparation. Now I get the results. So proper proper process preparation will give you the result you want so i think that's what my approach now okay rather than just focusing on striking target which uh, a lot of people fail to improve their kindle by doing so especially uh, late status so i'm going to uh, i'm going to share what i found out works for my students, so I'm going to share that with you, right? So, review quickly. So, I want you to have your ears, shoulders, hip bone, knees, ankle, okay, straight, all right, straight, okay, straight. And did you practice this? Did you practice this? Keep your Keep your weight on the left toes, left toes, right, and then move your right foot like this. Okay, and keep the right, right knee straight. So it's really, I, I'm going to exaggerate. So stand on the toes, stand on toes, right, left toe, stand on toes, and then going like this, like this. I'm exaggerating. Okay, but for you, for us, slightly, slightly keep lift, shift your weight forward a little bit so you can have your weight on the left toes and then you can freely, freely move your right, right, each knee. And then your left calf muscles start, start burning. Okay, and then you know you're doing it right. Okay, everyone had some homework. Oh, they're looking good, guys, looking good. Okay, why are we doing this? Because of preparation, posture preparation. Okay, so when you take true down, true down is basic stance. You don't have to have shin eye, I'm just showing you. Basic stance, basic stance, right? We call it true down, middle level, true down. Okay, basic stance. And we want to keep this. And before this posture, good posture, before, during, after, this doesn't change. So that's what we are focusing on, right? So to do so, this is the foundation. This is the foundation. Okay, you gotta prepare yourself good, kamae, nice kamae. And of course, you don't want to lean backwards like this because, as I said, you want to keep your weight a little forward, right? Now, not here. Now, basic main strike, basic movement in Kindle, okay, is go one step forward, okay, and 
If you go all the way down, it's called Jogeburi. Okay, and you go backwards, all the way down. So when you practice without so, okay, remember, tegatana, shito. Okay, this is the blade. Pinky side is a blade. All right, so what about this? This is basic movement in Kindle. Especially when you when you do it alone. Okay? Solo practice. Now, when you do that, I want you to utilize, utilize this slide motion. So keep your weight on the left toes and go slide. Slide back. The, this practice is to keep your posture straight and move forward and move backwards. All right? Okay. I'm going to talk about how to strike later. But this, if you can't move forward, it doesn't matter how, how fast you are, you can't reach your target. Okay. If your posture is bad, it doesn't matter if you reach or not, your strike will be bad. So, this is the, the important part of Kendo, okay? Before you even strike. From here, slide. This is basics. Okay, if you go all the way down, jog your If you stop, if you stop your hands, right hand about chest height, left hand, your solar plexus height, this is men's strike. Okay, men is here. You're striking forward. Okay. All right. So let's do ten of the each. From here, one. Jogeburi. Okay, jogeburi. Now, remember when you move forward, take off some weight from the right foot, so you can keep this. Okay, jogi, jogi with 10 times. Okay, from here, I come out there. Come out there means take your stance, assume your stance. Okay, good, good, good. And when I say hajime, that means start. Okay, I'll say hajime and itch, and you go itch. Okay, that's how we start. Okay, hajime, itch, itch. Ni, ni, san. She, go, look, one step back, strike. Shit, one step forward, hatch, cue, jip, yame. Now move on to main strike. Okay, main strike. So right hand about chest height. Okay, left hand your solar plexus height. So your right hand and left hand is a bit different than height wise. Okay, your chest is here, right hand. Left hand, solar plexus, a little bit lower. Okay, I my way is my way is my elbows a little bit bent, just a little bit, not stretched out like this. A little bit bent. Shoulders relax. Okay, shoulders relax. Again, ears, shoulders, hip bone. Knees, ankles, the strike. Okay, same thing from here. Come out there. Okay, when you strike men, forehead, you say men. Of course, you don't have to shout. If you're at home or apartment, they might call the police. Well, don't shout. Okay, and so quiet is fine. But I say, I'm gonna count. Okay, come out there. I hashime and I say itch, and you go, man. Okay, knee, go backwards, man. Sun. Man, she, man, go one step forward, man, look one step backwards, shich, hatch, cue, ju, man.